what is up? How you guys doing? I hope you're doing well and welcome back to the channel. I'm still a little sick, so bear with me today. Today, I'm going to be listening to an artist who I know nothing about. I have heard the name and that is about it. Today, we're going to be listening to Arlo Parks. You know what? I should check that I am saying that correctly. Arlo Parks. I think that's correct. I have had a few requests to react to this album, Collapsed in Sunbeams, which first of all, before I even go anywhere else, Collapsed in Sunbeams is a beautiful title for an album. I feel that title. It feels warmth. It feels warmth feels warm, it feels like a hug, and I just think it's a beautiful title for an album. Also, I am actually going to be seeing Arlo Parks in person live in February, hopefully. Who knows with COVID right now? But I'm going to see Claro in Boston. Actually, you can see it, well, you probably can't really, but on that sign it says, my next concert is Claro in February, and um, Arlo Parks is opening. And when I go to a tour, I usually love to look up the opening act. I don't like to go in and not know any of the songs. I usually will listen to them a little bit, and I was like, why not make a video about Arlo Parks because I have had some requests and I am really interested in this album. Again, I'm still, I still have COVID and I'm just getting over it so my voice is a little eh. So here we have the track list for Collapsed in Sunbeams and we have two videos. There's actually a lot more but I just went with two for the sake of this video and the songs that I'm most interested to hear based on titles are Green Eyes and Four Violet. Yeah, let's start with the title track, Collapsed in Sunbeams. It's very short, so I'm assuming it's gonna be some kind of intro. Let's do it. Collapsed in sunbeams, stretched out open to beauty, however brief or violent. We're all learning to trust our bodies, making peace with our own distortions. You shouldn't be afraid to cry in front of me. Ooh, oh my God. A poet. Is she English as well? Is this something I'm just now finding out? Oh, poetry. That was beautiful. Most of it went over my head, but it was beautiful. No, I love creative intros. I love intros, interludes, outros, speaking portions, instrumentals that serve a purpose, stuff like that, and that's what this is. I'm just gonna reread it again because I my brain is slow. My favorite part is that last section. We're all learning to trust our bodies, making peace with our own distortions. You shouldn't be afraid to cry in front of me, I promise. Oh God, I have a feeling I'm gonna cry in front of you tonight, so thank you for that. Wow, my voice was fine until I sat down to do this and now it's giving me <coughs> problems. That was a beautiful start. Oh, she's a writer. Okay, oh God, okay, I know, I know. I always pause the most at the beginning because I always hit with so much at once. Couple things, writer. She writes these songs, correct? Because it just feels so raw and real and beautiful. Yes, she does. But also the use of left and right channels already and like layering of vocals and just bringing vocals to the forefront and pushing them back. It's just, oh, it's so gorgeous. No, it won't hurt so, won't hurt so much forever. Oh. Yes! Started dreaming of a house with red carnations by the windows where he didn't feel so small, so overwhelmed by all his flaws. I love that I can hear the two layers. Or there's probably more, but like. Ah, the use of left and right channel! Ah! So much. Oh yes, 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 yes. I, this is the kind of music I think I, I really need right now. Cause lately since I've been sick and I've just been kind of in my house and I've been very low energy and just very much needing to relax. This feels like the kind of music I, I wish I could have been listening to this week. Like just very kind of mellow and calm and oh gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and the lyrics, I like her writing. It feels very poetic. How old is she? Arlo Parks. Hi Arlo Parks. How how old are you? 21! Yeah, she is from the UK. I didn't know that until we got to that first track and she started speaking and I was like, oh my god, wait a second. <laughs> and she's so pretty! 
Oh my god, she's stunning. Stunning! I can't wait to see you live! We've only gotten really one song in and I'm like, I'm ready for the concert. Anyway, that song was gorgeous. The next one's called Too Good. Vibes. I don't know. You're too proud to tell me that you get wait when you see it come another use your words to show you can Oh pre-chorus I let my pain out through the way that I say and start to pick at the rips in my Nikes. Okay the simplest things so hard Oh it's a whole lot the writing that pre-chorus near the beginning watching you trying to push away it hurts when you see it coming You're too proud to tell me that you care you can feel the progression of like Frustration and like falling apart through the whole song which is beautiful in the second verse I let my pain out through the way that I sit and start to pick at the rips in my Nikes What a cool lyric. I don't know. There's something so artistic about it and like poetic about it I just love that. Oh, okay Okay, we're at, a, we're at a good place right now. If you want to check out the uncut version of this reaction, it will be over on Patreon. On Patreon, I also have other exclusive reactions for you to check out. And it's just a really great way to help support the channel if you're interested. Thank you to everybody down here and even more people who have gone over there to support me. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you so very much and let's keep going. Next is the song Hope and we do have a music video for this one. So let's check it out. Why did I just get chills out of nowhere? Nothing happened. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I love this vibe. We tried to talk the pleasure back into being alive. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. It's reminiscent. You're not alone. Like you think you are. You're not alone. Like you think you are. Started sweating bullets when. how much I love this vibe, how much I love her vibe. Everything about her music so far I've loved, from the writing style, to just the sound, to the just overall energy. There's a, it's like a poetic calmness that I, <laughs> I don't know. There's like certain words that are sticking out to me right now and it's like calm, poetic, vibey, chill, morning. Every one of these songs almost makes me want to cry. And why is it exactly? The lyrics are heavy, but yet beautiful and comforting at the same time. This song is about a friend of mine, but also explores that universal idea of being stuck inside, feeling depressed, isolated, and alone, and being ashamed of feeling that way too. It's strange how serendipitous a lot of the themes have proved as we go through the pandemic. That sense of shame is present in the verses, so I wanted the chorus to be this rallying cry. I imagined a room full of people to show, oh, I'll be there so soon, who maybe had felt alone at some point in their lives singing together as this collective to cry. Oh, I'm gonna, nope, we're done. I'm gonna cry if I read that because I'm going to see her opening for Claro and I just, that's gonna be an emotional night for me. <laughs> okay, next song is called Caroline. I was waiting for the bus one day. Oh, her voice. Fight between us, a couple escalate. Maybe if you took a breath, you would hear me when I talk to you. so beautiful. Her music is gorgeous. I Oh my god. I don't know how to describe
describe what I'm feeling right now. I just am in awe of this music because this is, first of all, it's just like such creative writing, like describing a fight that you witnessed and what happened, what they said, how they looked. God, it feels like straight poetry. And it's so emotional for some reason, like all of these songs make me want to cry. They're just so beautifully written and produced and put together. And I'm just, I'm very overwhelmed. I'm so sorry. I know I'm being a lot, but oh my God, I'm so, I'm just overwhelmed by how beautiful. And these instruments. Watched his world dissolve in his hands. Tried to roll a blend and put his head between his knees. said it but I'm just I'm just in such awe because of the storytelling and the vibe I was just sitting here like thinking to myself this music is everything that I love the vibe is there her voice is so light and beautiful and that's like the kind of vocals that I always appreciate most individual lyrics on their own the writing is just absolutely perfect the next song is called black dog <laughs> the vibe sounds like by me nighttime music Oh, that was I'd lick the grief right off your lips. <sighs> I'd lick the grief right off your lips. Arlo Parks. I'm obsessed with you. Sometimes it seems like you won't survive this. Let's go to the corner store. so blown away god the subject matter of her songs is it's heavy of course i mean obviously but it's just like so beautifully done it's so beautifully done it makes me want to cry every time i try to read what she uh says about the songs they i'm like oh, can't do it <laughs> It makes me too emotional. It's so beautiful though. Oh, next is Green Eyes. I just love this title. I don't know why exactly. I just really like it. I love that we're really keeping that cohesion through this album. Dragon fruit and peaches in the wine. Kiss and cycles mm. underneath your eyes. love like sirens and practical effects in songs. I wonder what the meaning of the siren is in this particular case. In Green Eyes, Arlo reflects on a relationship she had with a girl. She highlights the struggles of the queer experience and cites the stress of homophobia from the public as well as from her partner's parents as a reason for the relationship ending so quickly. Yeah, this was beautifully, beautifully written. I mean, no, no kidding. All of it has been beautifully written. <gasps> Wait, Clara co-wrote this? Actually, 
actually, oh my god, she did. Oh, wait, Clara's vocals are on this too? Oh my god, I didn't even, <laughs> I love that. Claro, I love you, Claro. No, I'm gonna lose it. I'm so excited for this show now because I've been so excited for it because I love Claro, but now I'm gonna see Arlo Parks as well. <sighs> the next song is called Just Go. Oh wait, this one's kinda, you know? Like, hello, the vibes are... I love the production on that one in particular. The production's what got me on that one. It was very just like fun and maybe very smiley. I know the lyrics weren't necessarily happy, but I feel like this was one of the less sad ones on the album and I love the vibe. It was pretty much just, why don't you just go the whole time? But I could vibe to that all day. I loved it. Next is For Violet. Oh, it's dark. the crackle and the static. I always appreciate that as well. I really like that. That was a much like darker sounding song, especially coming right after Just Go, which is one of the, I think, most like upbeat songs on the album. So like bring this like way back down. The second verse was, I can't get over the writing style. I'm obsessed with it. It reminds me of like Claro and Phoebe and like that kind of style. So it makes sense that I'm loving this. Just the way in which she writes is so beautiful. Getting like so little of the story, but understanding so much. It's like, it's just so poetically done and I'm obsessed with it. Next, we have the song Eugene and we have a video for this one. So let's check it out. I had a dream we kissed and it was old. I'll trust your judgment. Stop! That is so good on every- Stop! No, that song is so good. And the video was so- I love the style of these videos. Very short film-like, and I think that's what they're supposed to be. And it's just so beautifully done. And the writing on this one is so beautiful. The storytelling is so good. The little details, like Sylvia Plath, I love that. I have to like learn this this album front to back in time for this tour because I want to sing all of these along with her. Oh my god, I'm gonna see her in concert. I'm already so excited that I'm gonna see her in person. No way, dude. Okay, wait, that was amazing. That was so good. The next one we're gonna get into is called Bluish. Okay. You held me. You held me so hard. I went bluish. Whoa. Are you kidding me already? Covered me with fake blood and ginger around your throat. Always charming and balanced. That's why it hurt the most. She does that, the layers. 
I can't wait to listen to this album again already because there's a lot I'm missing. In the production in particular, I can tell there are so many layers there and I haven't fully picked them all apart yet, but there's just so much happening. It's very calming and like light feeling music, but there is a lot happening, especially with the writing and the storytelling and everything else going on at the same time. It's, oh my God. This is just a vibe that I wanna exist in. Last song that we're gonna get into is called Portra. 400? It's just over. Oh my god, okay. I have so much love for this album. I am so glad that I decided to do this. I mean, I was gonna see her live, so this was gonna happen to me at the end of February anyway. This album is just, it's just art. It's just poetry, it's beauty. It's literally, it's just gorgeous. And I can't wait to get to know this album better, to learn the lyrics, try to understand some of them a little better, really listen to that production because there's a lot going on in there. Her voice is so captivating too. She's not like a vocal. I mean, she has beautiful vocals, but you know what I mean? She's not like a vocalist, but she has this gorgeous, calming, poetic voice that I absolutely adore. I really, oh my god, I cannot wait to see her. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. Eugene is easily one of my favorite songs. The video was also gorgeous. I also loved Just Go, Black Dog. Oh my god, that one was so good. Caroline and Hurt, but I really loved all of them, and I can't wait to just get to know this whole album as a whole. So thank you guys so much, as always, for being here. I appreciate you so much very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!